hello everyone and welcome to another video from tech tuxedo today in this video we will quickly discuss about sysctl command now as everyone knows linux has wide number of users contributing to its code and linux is highly tu tunable and one of those tunable parameter is linux kernel so we can highly tune linux kernel according to our needs and the command that is used to tune Linux kernel is sysctl. Now I will show you how sysctl works and how to know what are your kernel pa loaded parameters and how to change them and what is the main configuration file for sysctl. Now to begin with you can have a look at all your kernel parameters with command sysctl hyphen a. Now this command prints all the loaded parameters in your system and as you can see there are many 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 tunable parameters which you can change and which are loaded in your system there are many 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 of them okay so now let's say I want to change my this parameter and I want to change it to 1 so Linux gives us this configuration file cctl hyphen cctl.conf which is default configuration file for cctl and all the values that you want to change can go into this file and quickly if I want to change this I will copy this, paste this and give this new value. And then I will reboot my system and during boot uh, sysctl is going to read this file and change this var variable, this kernel parameter to new value. Now if I am lazy and I want to, and I cannot reboot my system I can quickly run a command which will actually change the parameter during runtime and that command is sysctl hyphen p there we go sysctl hyphen p goes into this file and read all the parameters and change changes the default value for this and now if I'm going to do sysctl hyphen p and then do this one you will notice that this is changed to 1 now Okay, another way to change these parameters uh, is using proc directory. Now, over here, this change is persistent. From persistent, I mean if I reboot my system or if I change this variable temporarily, ultimately, after every reboot or after every sysctl p this is gonna go to 1 because this is hard coded in our sysctl file but if you want to change a variable temporarily then you have to go into your proc directory proc slash sys directory now over here you will see all your kernel parameters and you have to just navigate through the path so my path over here is net so it's it's a directory every dot is a directory so my path over here will be net slash bridge as in bridge and then in there this one and if I cat this parameter it's gonna print one now to quickly change this Temporarily, I'm gonna change this variable to my new value. And now I'm gonna grab again, and you will see new value is loaded. Again, guys, using proc directory is temporary, and using cctl.conf is permanent 
but it's your choice if you want to change your parameter per permanently then you know how to do it and if you want to go temporarily then you know how to do it okay guys that's for today please uh, like and subscribe to my channel please let us know how you find this video we'll keep putting no more videos thank you thanks for watching have a good day